Hello! Welcome to Vlogmas Day 19. I haven't even taken Doyle on a walk yet. He's out, but I haven't taken him on a walk because I gotta show you guys something. So, I need to back up a little bit. Yesterday, when I was out, I think it was at Target, yeah, the second place I went, I was looking at my windshield and I'm like, what's that little mark? There's like this little kind of like crescent in the driver's side in the windshield and I'm like, huh, did something scrape it or what? Cause um, I drive such a long distance for work that I get a lot of like backlash from the roads and stuff. So I don't really clean my car that often because it's kind of not worth it. But so you guys are going to see a really, really dirty windshield in about two seconds. But I was looking at it yesterday and I was like, huh, that's weird. So then when I got home, I like felt it, but it didn't feel like it was anything. And I was like, well, maybe that's something else. Maybe it's not a crack. Well, it's a big ass crack now <laughs> because on my way to work this morning, it just stayed exactly the same. Like it didn't move, it didn't do anything. And I like turned the corner on the interstate and all of a sudden it just went all the way across. I'm like, oh shit. So I called my insurance agent and left a message at his office. It was after uh, five o'clock. So he'll call me back tomorrow, but my vehicle, I get free like with my insurance or whatever, like you get free like windshield repair. So let me show you. All right, my car is like hella dirty, but whatever. So it started like right here. So I could see this like little crescent and then you can't see it very well, but it goes all the way across now. Oops. So um, hopefully I, the temperatures as well are gonna be like dropping like crazy the next couple of days. Um, it is supposed to snow tomorrow. And then um, after that, like over the weekend, like the high is like negative two. Like, ew, that's so gross. So I hope that they can come to my home and do it. Um, and I'll set up that. Thankfully, I have my dad's car here. So I'm gonna drive that for probably the next couple of days until um, I can get the new windshield. And I know they come out to your home or your office or whatever to do it but because the temperatures are so freaking low, I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> so um, maybe if it sits in the garage and you know they put heaters or something in the garage, I, I don't know how it works, but I know you can't drive it for like a certain amount of time afterwards, but I'm like grabbing my dad's keys right now. I was gonna drive his car this week anyway, so I'll probably just drive it for a couple of extra days than I normally would. I normally drive it like about once a week or so, sometimes once every other week, it just kind of depends. But um, he wants me to drive it, by the way. It's not that it's like, oh my gosh, Emily's driving her dad's car. Um, but anyway, um, I'm gonna go take Doyle on a walk now because he's gotta go potty and I gotta get my night started. And I just wanted to share that with you guys right away because I'm like, oh great. I wonder if they can even do it because it's so cold and uh, it's going to be really, really bad the next few days. So hopefully they can get the windshield put on while it's still like not negative temperatures as the high. <sighs> but anyway, okay, I'm walking the dog and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so now I'm back, but I was like, oh, I should like go see how much gas is in my dad's car because I would just like go fill it up if I needed to. So let's go and check some things out because my dad's car battery is dead. I haven't driven it in like a little, it's been like two weeks, a little less than two weeks. Battery's dead. Awesome, right? And I don't have jumper cables, so I just called my uncle. Um, he lives really, really close. And uh, yeah, so that's happening. <sighs> so I don't know, maybe I needed to like drive my dad's car more? I don't know, right? Oh, it's such a pain in the butt. So like, here, I'm gonna start it. <laughs> nothing, just nothing. <laughs> I mean, the car turns on, so that's good, but like, it's the, the, the battery's just dead. I don't know. So, maybe word to the wise, I need to drive it at least once a week, if not, you know, twice a week or whatever, so. So that's my car drama. Car drama miss, yay. <laughs> Got two cars, both of which 
aren't working so well. Ah, what else can go wrong with the vehicle? Actually, no, I shouldn't say that because something else will go wrong, so we don't need to talk about that. Oh, goodness. Oh, and by the way, my uncle is an auto mechanic, so like this is the easiest thing for him to do, so it's like not asking a lot of him to come over and do this, and he, he lives like three miles away, like it's not that far away. So anyway, I'm gonna have some dinner and uh, hang out with the dog, and I think I might watch a whole episode of The Crown tonight because I didn't even watch a whole episode last night. I was just like, my head just started pounding after I got back from all the shopping, and um, I just called it quits. I was like, I can't watch this anymore. I have to go to bed. <laughs> so anyway, I will see you guys in just a little bit. There we go, weird. My camera just said memory card error, and I was like, no! I have several days of vlogs on this. Don't do this to me now, camera. Um, but anyway, wanted to give you an update about the car drama. Um, my uncle just got here and let, or not, he didn't get here. He actually got here and left. And in the meantime, I called my parents to tell them the funny story. I think it's funny, because like, you can't like not laugh, because it's just so ridiculous, right guys? Okay, so out in here, he is gonna get me some good jumper cables because apparently there's like different levels of jumper cables of like good ones and bad ones and who knows, I don't, I don't know anything about cars, so I don't know. So anyway, there is a outlet whoop, right there. So he brought over this thing right here, which apparently is just charging the battery all night right there. Whoops, right. There, I think. I think that's in frame. Yeah. So that is going to sit charging on the vehicle for the duration of the evening and overnight. And then in the morning, he said just to unplug it and then remove the little clippies and the car should start right up and have a full charge. If for some reason the car doesn't start, then he's going to come over and actually do like a diagnostic on it. And then I can drive my car. I mean, it's fine. I don't want to drive my car, but whatever. <laughs> um, but I have another vehicle if there's an issue. And um, he did confirm to probably drive it for a couple of days in a row, at least right away for the battery, and then make sure to drive it at least once a week, if not more than once a week, especially for the long drives. So I think I'm gonna like note to self, drive it Mondays and Fridays. Um, just to kind of keep the juices flowing, you know what I mean? So anyway, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. I still haven't had any dinner. Oh, I was gonna leave that on because I need to go back out there in a second. Um, I still haven't had any dinner, so I'm gonna get that started. And um, yeah, <laughs> I will see you guys in a little bit. Oh, the drama, the drama. All right, so it is several hours later. The dog is upstairs on the little landing thing right there. He is ready to go on his final walk of the day. I am just picking up a couple of things. The car is still charging, which is odd to say, but it's true. And um, I'll report back tomorrow. So hopefully I get to drive my dad's car tomorrow. We'll see, so yeah. But let's give you guys a little bit of Doyle action before we go, because he's looking cute. There he is. That's what he's doing. Yep. That's what he's doing. What are you thinking, Doyle? He was upstairs sitting on the heat vent. Hi, buddy. <laughs> anyway, we are gonna go outside. I'm gonna go to bed. Doyle's gonna go to bed too, but let's face it, he's always sleeping. That is, <laughs> is that how you sit, Doodle? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Such a good sitter. Such a good sitter. You look like you're pooping a little bit. You're pooping on the stairs. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, I'm gonna go because I'm getting a little delirious and my battery light is flashing at me, so it's time to go. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another Vlogmas and Doyle says goodbye too. See you tomorrow. Bye.